Good morning, Mr. Trotter. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. My name is Anna Kester, and I'm going to be the nurse practitioner taking care of you today. Okay? Great. And pleasure to meet you. Let me go ahead and wash my hands. Can you tell me your full name and your date of birth? My name is James Daniel Trotter, and my date of birth is January 6th, 1986. Perfect. That matches what I have here. What name do you go by? I go by Daniel. It's my okay. middle name. Perfect. Thank you, Daniel. So today we're going to be doing a head and neck exam. Is that what you expected? Yes. Okay. We'll get started by taking a look at your scalp. Um, I'm looking for any patches of abnormal hair loss or redness. Okay. okay. Thank you. I'm going to have you open and close your jaw as I feel it, okay? Okay. Go ahead and open and close, open and close. Thank you. The next portion of the exam, we're going to be looking at your cranial nerves. Okay. That doesn't mean a whole lot to you, but I just ask that you follow my instructions to the best of your ability. Okay. Sound like a plan? Sure. So the first thing, we'll look at cranial nerve five. And have this piece of cotton and touch different areas of your face with it. Okay. Just let me know when you feel the cotton touching your face. Yes. 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 Thank you for doing that. The next thing we're going to be looking at is cranial nerve 7, which is the facial nerve. So I'm going to ask you to follow a series of directions and just do so to the best of your ability. Okay. Can you close your eyes nice and tight for me? Okay, now open them. Raise your eyebrows. Okay, and then puff out your cheeks. Act like you're blowing out a candle or whistling. And then give me a smile. And again, I'm going to feel your jaw. Can you clench your jaw for me? Yeah. Thank you. The next portion of the exam, we're going to be taking a look at your eyes. So okay. I'll wash my hands again, just because I'll be touching your eyes. Okay. The first thing is I'm going to inspect the white part of your eye, the sclera, for any redness. Thank you. Do you wear contacts or glasses? I don't. No? Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is have you follow my finger. Okay. Try to keep your head still as you do this and just move with your eyes. Okay. Thank you. Now go ahead and take a look at my finger as it comes to your nose. And then look directly behind me about 10 to 15 feet. One more time. And behind me. Thank you. The next thing is I'm going to use my pen light to make sure that your pupils constrict equally on both sides. Okay. Normally I would dim the lights for this, but we'll skip that today. Okay, so that exam told me that your pupils are equal, they're round, they're reactive to light and accommodation. Okay. The next part of the exam, I'll use my fundoscope to take a look at your eyes. This is going to check your retinal health. Um, it'll give me a better visualization of what's going on inside your eyes. All right. Normally the lights would be dimmed for this and my setting would be started on zero. So we're gonna take a look at your left eye first. And then your right eye, continue to stare behind me, okay. 10 to 15 feet. Thank you for doing that. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at your ears. Any hearing loss? No. No? Okay. I'll use my otoscope for this. 
And I'm pulling up and back to take a look at your ear. Okay. And your tympanic membrane, or otherwise known as your eardrum, is pearly gray. Up and back on this side as well. Thank you. The next portion of this ear exam is going to be what's called the whisper test. Okay. So what I will do is have you cover your opposite ear. So we're going to start with you covering your left ear. Okay. And I'm going to whisper a series of three words into your right ear and then have you repeat them back to me. Okay. Book cherry orange. Thank you. And cover your right ear, please. Dog, basketball, milk. Thank you for doing that. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at your nose, okay? Okay. I'm wash my hands again before this. So I'll use my otoscope. I'm going to look at your right or your left nostril first. Okay. Thank you for tilting your head back mm -hmm. and your right nostril. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and feel your sinuses. Okay. So those are located below your eyebrows and then right where your cheekbone is. Just let me know if you have any tenderness, please. All right. We'll go ahead and move along to your um, your mouth exam, okay? Your mouth and your throat. Before we use um, the tongue depressor, go ahead and just say ah and open your mouth. Ah. Uh, Thank you. Okay, you can stop. And I'm going to use the tongue depressor, okay. and you'll say ah again. Ah. Uh, Thank you. You can stop. And I'm looking for any cavities. Any abrasions or ulcers? Okay, can you go ahead and take your tongue to the roof of your mouth? I'm going to look underneath your tongue. Thank you. Do you get frequent dental checkups? Yes. Awesome. When was the last time you went to the dentist? Um, about three months ago. Okay, mm -hmm. glad to hear that. I'm going to go ahead and press on your cheek and have you um, push your tongue against my hand with some resistance. Okay. okay? So press against my hand. Thank you. And then on this side. Perfect. If it's okay with you, I would also like to take a closer look at your tongue. Move it side to side and up and down. Is okay. that okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead and get a drink of water if you need it. And you're swallowing okay? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any difficulties with that ever? No. No? Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and move along to your neck exam. So okay. first I'm going to test the strength of your muscles and have you um, first raise your shoulders against the resistance of my hand and then turn your head side to side against the resistance of my hand. Okay. So go ahead and raise your shoulders. Perfect. And turn your head to your left and turn your head to your right. Thank you so much. We'll go ahead and move along and I'm going to feel your lymph nodes. So those are the things in your throat that tend to get swollen or sore when you're sick. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. So we'll start with your occipital nodes back here in your head. And just please let me know if you have any tenderness. Okay, we'll move along to your post orbicular nodes. Your pre orbicular nodes. Your posterior cervical nodes. Your anterior cervical nodes.
your tonsillar nodes, your submandibular nodes, and your submental nodes. I'm also going to feel your clavicular nodes and underneath your t-shirt just a little bit. Can you go ahead and shred for me? Thank you. Thank you so much. The next portion of the exam and the last portion is I'm going to take a look at your thyroid. That's the gland that's in your throat and just looking for any abnormalities in size okay. or swelling. So if you need to take a drink of water to swallow normally, I'm going to watch from All the right. front. Okay. And I'm going to come behind you. I'm going to have you tilt your head down slightly. Um, a little less Dramatic. There you go. I'm going to place my hands on your neck. I'm going to have you swallow for me. If you can. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then tilt your head towards your right shoulder. And swallow. And towards your left shoulder. And swallow. And now that's all the swallowing. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then back to the center. Head slightly down again. And one more time. Thank you. Do you have any questions before we get you checked out of your appointment? No, I'm any good. Concerns? Is that it? That's it. Okay. Thank you so much for yeah. coming in today, and then I look forward to seeing you in the future. Great. Thank you.